so cool. Oh, I knew Bella. Bailey. Ah, oh, she got it. She got it before ya. Hey guys. Hello. This one's horrible. Ah, oh, come on. Good girl, Bella. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Good time. You're eating your breakfast. Bailey's hmm? eating his. Got such a pretty face. Good boy. Hey, you better. You better. Oh, you're a good girl. Wanna go get your frisbee? Go get your frisbee. Go get it. Chasey. Hello. <laughs> Good girl. There you go. Good job. Bella. Go get your frisbee. Come on, let's go get your frisbee. Oh, Bella like the frisbee. Hmm? You like the frisbee, Bella? Ooh. Ooh, good job. Good job. Oh, you're a good girl. Very good. Come on, baby. <laughs> That's it, boy. You dropped it. You dropped it. Hello. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, look at you go, Bella. Good job. Oh, you're a good girl. Good job, Bailey. Ready? <laughs> oh, look at her go, being all active. Good on her. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Hello to my awesomely amazing 61 subscribers. I am here doing something a little bit different today. I have been house visiting these two dogs. <laughs> Bailey, the bigger one here. He's the younger boy. And then this is Bella. <laughs> Bella's a little bit older than Bailey. Their human mum, she is away on holiday and she's asked if I can come visit them for an hour and a half each day. Just play with them and, oh, sorry, Bella. I just threw it without waiting for you. She's asked if I can come help look after them and play with them, feed them, all that sort of stuff. Pick up the poop in the yard. 
because they're used to her being home 24 seven. So just having someone there for peace of mind is what she's after. These two are German short haired pointers. They are very high energy dogs, especially Bailey. Bailey loves playing ball. Oh yeah, Bella! <laughs> Bella enjoys her frisbee. Oh yeah, you can bring it back. <laughs> What are you doing, Bailey? Bailey, bring it back. Come on. Good boy. Ah, uh, oi. Thank you. Belle is very sweet. She's got very kind eyes and she's got dobby ears and I love it. It's actually been quite good looking after these two. They're full of beans, especially when I arrive. But, um, once they settle down, they're really fun to play with. Yeah, go Bella! <laughs> yeah, good girl! Uh, yeah, good job Bella. Especially Bella, because as you can see, she needs to lose a little bit of weight. She's a bit of a chonk. So getting Bella to run is good. <laughs> Sometimes she just dips out. She's just like, no, nah, I don't want to pick that up. Ready? Bailey's very lucky that he's got to run like this. So he can run up and down a lot. <laughs> We've got a two-way run. Ooh, that one went in the hose. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. But Bailey, he's very much like Ishka. He's like ball obsessed, loves the ball, loves running after it. And it's good that he enjoys something because he needs some sort of outlet to get rid of all the pent up energy. Good boy, good boy. He does a much better job than Ishka at bringing the ball back as well. Basically drops it at my feet, which is awesome. Whereas Ishka is like useless and will drop the ball from like 100 miles away. Good boy. <laughs> Look at him running off already. Wow, you can go get your frisbee. You were just staring at me. You're waiting for me to do something with you, Bella. Come on, let's go get your frisbee. <laughs> oh, you ready? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, go Bella! It's good watching Bella move. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might take a break soon. I'll just walk around with my drink bottle. Bailey looks like he's ready for break. Enough. Good boy. So it's actually not that easy to get this guy to drink, but um he loves water, so if I move the water around, he'll like voluntarily drink it. So I'm just walking around the backyard right now. This is the break. Because if I look like I'm just sitting there doing nothing, Bailey will, he'll bark at me and tell me to get off my, my butt. So I gotta look like I'm doing something. Plus it's good for me to move around a bit. And Bella's a good girl, yes. <laughs> All right, it's break over. Break over, you ready to go again? You're just gonna lie down, Bailey. Are you a good boy? You a good boy? Yesterday was the first day I came over to visit these guys and Bailey was pretty full on. Um, he didn't really want to break a whole lot but today he's actually showing that he's happy to wind down just a little bit and I 
would like to assume that he knows that I'll keep throwing the ball a little bit. And I say wind down by just him lying down on the ground a lot more because he did not do much of that yesterday. He's got the ball, but he wants the frisbee. Oh, Bella. Oh, you ready? Woo! Oh, no, you weren't ready. You weren't ready. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Good job! Woohoo! Oh, nice catch! Nice catch, boy! I'm, I'm trying to read her face a little bit. She will often prick her ears if she's interested. And normally that can be the cue to throw the frisbee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Where are you going? He needs an open field to run around in. I think it would be really good to take him out to one of the open paddocks and just let him run. Let him play with the ball and just run. I'm staying here for about an hour and a half, so the GoPro only lasts about an hour on battery life, so likely it will cut out at some point. But I just wanted to do like a little update video. I didn't post last Saturday. I'm a couple weeks into my course doing learning pet grooming. And surprisingly, there's a lot of learning about um, like medical sort of stuff. I'm learning um, about the different stages of dogs. Yeah. First aid, um, skin conditions that they can have, um, diseases that can be passed on from dogs to humans, and how important uh, PPE gear is and just doing things like hand washing before moving on to different dogs how important it is to clean up all your gear after each client um, and all that wonderful stuff. The different coat types and what type of tools are best used on different types of dogs. Learning about temperaments, what to expect from different types of breeds and classes of dogs. Bailey's not sure what he wants to do. <laughs> what are you doing, boy? What are you doing, boy? Do you need another drink? Need another drink. He's running away. <laughs> Not sure what he wants to do. Is it break time? Is it break time? I'm gonna move this slowly to the hose. Look at this doggy. Alright, let's try to do this. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Okay, cool. I can move it without him shoving his face in there. There you go. So, the other thing I wanted to mention for the, anyone who's interested in uh, who's interested in pet grooming or the um, setting up their own business is that there is a lot involved. Every unit I'm doing in this course and everything I'm learning, gear, hygiene practices, all of this kind of thing, my list of essentials is just getting larger and larger. And what I'm finding is that I had an, a, list, a list of essential things that I needed to buy to start up my own business, um, but now that list is just growing and growing this kind of thing helps, like uh, pet visiting and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I mean, the money that I get from this will definitely help go towards um, equipment and tools that I need to have a, a, a proper set up business, not just, you know, something willy-nilly. Plus like, 
this kind of thing is awesome. I mean, to earn a little bit of, you know, pocket money, a little bit of cash, just to like hang out with dogs, like how awesome is that? I think it's wonderful anyway. Especially if you get dogs like these ones that just love having something to do. He loves playing ball. And Bella, she's just so sweet. Some cool dogs to hang out with. It makes it so much better. But yeah, I've been doing like a tally or like how much everything's gonna cost me. Woo! I know I can probably go very minimal on stuff, but at the same time, um, all these different things I'm learning in my course are implying that I should really be thinking about safety and, and duty of care a lot, a lot more. Come on, Bella. Come on, girl. Good girl. <laughs> you just want a treat, don't you? Can you sit? Oh, look at you. You're a good girl. You can sit. Bailey. Bailey. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, you guys use this kennel? At least you fit in it. At least you can stand up in it. That's good. I don't know if Bella could fit in it though. She a bit chunky. Good boy. Good boy. He can drink some water on his own. Good stuff. Yesterday I tried sitting down. If I sit down I get smothered with kisses. And um, if I'm too boring I get smothered in some barking too. Some attention barking. Hence why I'm walking around now. Moving, he's just following behind me, waiting for me to stop and then throw the ball for him again. Good boy. Good boy, Bailey. Good boy. Good girl, Bella. Just trying to let him know that I'm, I'm happy with him laying down and stuff like that. Gotta to try to reward the, the calm behaviors. The chill behaviors. Sleeping in there. Yep, see? Uh -uh. <laughs> if I sit down, whining and the barking will happen. So I've got to keep moving. Well, if anyone is interested, I would be willing to make a video on what it's like setting up a dog grooming business. I think once I actually get started, then I'll have a full picture on exactly everything. Um, because like I mentioned, I'm just sort of like adding, I'm just adding one thing at a time as I learn more and more about what's involved and best practices and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just remember in my last video, I had mentioned how like quick, I think I was going to say easy, but then I was like, uh, it might not be as easy as that. Definitely. I thought quick, but it's actually, <laughs> it's actually not that quick. I mean, just even applying for the ABN, that's actually taking time and it can take them up to a month to actually get back to you and approve of your, your ABN and things. And so I'm not really sharing too much about the business at the moment only because um, I have a name in mind and obviously I don't want to have the name used by somebody else if they find out about it. I tried raw feeding with Ishka quite a bit ago and it actually turned out really well. The only problem we had was she would stay at at someone's home while we were on holiday or we'd be on the road. Things like camping and stuff like that and she'd come along with us. She'd come along with us so it was just easier to end, feed her dry food in the end. But um, I've noticed that these guys there fed raw, raw diet. There's a place called, oh what's it called? Something in Fresh. I'll probably put it up on the screen. And that, that place, they offer some complete raw diet meals. So 
if you're ever interested in trying out raw feeding with your dog, they make sure to include all the right things that your dog should have in their diet. Another way you can often tell if your dog has got a good, well-balanced diet is the colour of their poo and the consistency of their poo. Their poo should be like a dark brown colour and be firm. And these guys, they've got yellow poo and some of it's either really sloppy or it's really crumbly. Like what they're being fed is like meat. Good, good kind of meat and good kind of bones, but just not all the other stuff that should make up their diet in a healthy way. I think it was, it's like raw and fresh, I think it's called. All right, I'm just checking the camera now and we're at, we're over an hour so the GoPro might turn off at some point. Yeah, this was a bit of a random video. Um, sorry, there was really no direction with it. More just an update, sort of, I don't know. I'm doing things. I hope you guys are doing things that you enjoy. I'm excited to eventually announce the business name at some point. And I think he's getting tired. What's wrong, Bailey? You're getting tired? Yay! Yeah, look at him, he's jumping up on the thing now. It's a lot more interesting to chew than the ball. Yeah, good boy. Are you dropping it there because you want me to pick it up? Anyway guys, I don't know if you got anything from this video, it's super random and I just want you to know that you are appreciated and I hope to see you for the next video. Alright, I'll be feeding these guys a treat before I leave. Bye!